Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about two new Caveco colors. I purchased this Elite Royalty one a couple weeks ago and to be honest I didn't really see it advertised much. I went into drum goals a couple weeks back. I would call this color a like periwinkle. It's kind of blue but sometimes kind of purple. I believe they also had like a blue and a maroon color. And then a more recent release I did purchase the Caveco collection cyan color and it is gorgeous. I am so happy with the way this color looks. It is definitely more blue than green so it's not necessarily teal. It could be more um aqua or cerulean maybe or I don't know. I just don't know if cyan is like the best way to describe it but here it is amongst all of my other blue pens so you can kind of see the color difference. So now I have two of the Caveco collection additions. I am kind of maybe thinking of getting a lavender, but we shall see. It's not necessarily a color that I feel like I need to collect. I really love the Caveco Sport and like I try to collect the colors that I know I will use and I'm not sure if I have enough purple inks to really justify getting the lavender but because I just I love matching the pens with an ink even if it's like a contrasting kind of thing and with the lavender I just I'm trying to think about all the inks I already have and like what I would contrast it with so that's kind of my thinking when I collect a Caveco pen. And once they announced this one, I was really excited to add it to my collection. I did fill it up with a different ink, but I first inked it up with Noodler's Dostoevsky, and I just was not feeling it. It's a very pretty ink. I don't know if it was the pen or if it's the ink, but it was not like the best writing experience. I think the ink itself is just too watery, I guess. I don't know. It just felt like it wasn't really being absorbed by the paper, if that makes sense. I felt like it kind of sat on top of the paper for too long. I don't know if you can tell by the sample above, but it just felt just not the right match. Maybe it's more of a teal ink and it just didn't look right with the color and I was trying to match the perfect kind of color with the pen. And I didn't record, but I did try it on different types of paper. And again, it just wasn't sitting right with me. I just did not like how it was looking. And I have a few other noodlers. So I know it's not noodlers fault or anything. I just felt like this ink in particular was not right. I did end up switching the ink to a J Urban Emerald of Chavor. And it is a really beautiful jewel tone teal color with I think some gold flakes in it and I had a sample of this. I think it's just a better match with the pen and feels nicer when I'm writing with it. And then I didn't specify earlier, but I did fill this one with Diamine Writer's Blood and I think it's not, of course, a direct match or anything. I just thought that the maroon would look nice with the periwinkle, but I am kind of looking for a different ink to fill this one with. I do think Writer's Blood would actually look really nice with the cyan one. I think that those, the maroon and that pretty blue would look nice together. So I may switch inks. I'd love to hear what colors you would fill these pens with. I tend to stick more towards earth tones. So there are a lot of colors that are missing from, you know, my collection that I feel like would make it a little bit more broader. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. I am so happy to add this pen to my collection and I'm looking forward to all of the other colors that they add. Caveco is again one of my favorite brands and I'm always excited to get a new Caveco pen. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.